Hey, what's up guys? I'd like to introduce everybody to the new stash. There it is, first look. My wife is super excited about it. So happy about it, she even let me go fishing today. Had a buddy, you can see him, he's right there. Russ, say hi. All right. He's all gonna, <laughs> he's gonna join me. We're doing a little bit of creek fishing today and I am going to attempt to catch some fish on the items that I received in the October edition of the Monster Bass Box. So if you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll link it in the description below. We're gonna get on the water. We only got a couple hours. Let's get to it. Water feels like it's mid 60s. Looks like low 70s. Really? 72 is what mine's saying. You got a monster? Yeah. Hell yeah. Six pound cast on a little jig. Holy shit. The biggest hybrid I've caught in years. Nice. Alright, let me get a close up. Alright, there we go. Russ caught himself a nice wiper. What it 20 something or what? We'll find out. Dang, that thing's got a belly. Look at that. Yeah, she was hoarse. Uh, caught it on a little, what, crappie jig or something? Or? A little eighth ounce white grub. Eighth ounce white grub. Look at all the... 24 inches. 24 inch hybrid. Wow. Uh, there you go. Nice. Almost need a bigger board. That is a big old hybrid. Marking all kinds of fish on the grass. So fat. I don't know what she weighs. But... They got to be feeding on whatever we're seeing on the graph here. I don't know if we're seeing crappie or this, this, this a crappie mix. crappie and, and shad in here like crazy. Nice fish, dude. Thank you. Hell That's yeah. That's why I like fishing creeks in the fall. Yeah. All right, guys. You just saw Russ's big 24-inch wiper. That is uh, definitely the biggest wiper I think I've ever seen in person. Haven't caught a whole lot of them in my time, but um, that was definitely a big one. And I wanted to show you guys at least that catch. Um, as you could see on the graph, I mentioned there were marking tons of bait fish back there. Um, even busted out the crappie jig and all I could get on that thing was a dang drum. So I just, I know there's fish back there. Um, it was kind of a, a day that was leading into a cold front. Basically, the north winds were coming through um, just before we got on the water. So I don't know if the fish were already shut down or what, but um, Russ really tried to finesse them out of there with his little grub um, and um, he, he caught that, and I think that might have been his only catch for the evening. Um, I did end up catching a largemouth bass on one of my monster bass uh, items that I got in my October box, and that was on the Strike King Thunder Cricket. This is the half ounce green pumpkin, and um, the trailer I used for that is a uh, four inch walleye assassin some sort of chartreuse color there um, but I chose this because I just wanted something that was going to give off a little less vibration than maybe a standard Kitek. I like fishing a chatterbait so I don't know we'll see if things are like they were that evening the next time I go fish I probably won't fish a lot of the a lot of the chatterbait I'm not really sure what possessed me to throw the chatterbait just because of how slow things were, but hey, put one in the boat. Um, pretty sure I just threw this thing right in the guy's face. I saw uh, some topwater commotion, so I threw this over at it and, and he hit it. So 
Um, not sure if there would have been much of a pattern behind this catch, but uh, hey, there we go. One thing, I was trying to fish this Chase Baits paddle bait. This is a three inch, and I figured this would be a really good imitation for those smaller shad this time of year. And I just could not, with what I had in the boat, I could not figure out a way to rig it. Um, I tried to rig it weightless, uh, and that was not a good idea. Obviously, you need some weight to be able to impart the action with the paddle tail. Um, so, but anyways, I came back home, and I found this little jig. If you guys are looking for a jig to pair with this bait, you, maybe you got it in your Monster Bass box as well. Um, this is a Bass Pro Shops brand, a little eighth ounce, and I think this is what I'm going to throw it on next time I go out. Um, maybe look for some weedless options, um, but I would say if, if I'm not having to worry about a whole lot of cover and whatnot, I'm going to throw this bad boy. So if you guys are looking, I'll go ahead and put the uh, link in the description below, that way you can grab some of these. I'm going to give away a pack of Super Flukes and a pack of Caffeine Shad, okay? I'll give this to the same person as there's going to be one winner. And all you have to do to be qualified to uh, win these items is comment down below. You're going to have to like the video. You have to be a subscriber. So there's three things. Like, subscribe, and you have to comment, okay? And the comment is... How big do you think that wiper was? Remember, it was 24 inches. Um, I'll go ahead and, and um, show you guys that fish again here real quick. That way you guys can um, get your guesses in order and comment below. So, comment how many pounds you think that wiper weighed, and I will give away a couple packs of baits. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate you guys hanging in there. I haven't been doing these videos for some time and I'm trying to get back into the swing of things try to give you guys a video a week if not more so I'm gonna keep it coming I'm gonna try my very best to do it all winter long we'll see how that goes I'm going to be doing some renovations of my boat as well so I'll bring you guys along for that but uh, hopefully we'll be able to do some trout fishing maybe take a little trip up north somewhere and do some ice fishing I don't know uh, something I've always wanted to try so uh, comment below if you want to see some ice fishing or some trout fishing or what do you think we should do to uh, come up with some good content for winter time anyways guys I appreciate you hanging in there and until next time we'll see you on the water